Welcome back. Learning Photoshop can bring you a ton of value. It's a skill that can help you get a new job, start a business, or get a promotion at your current job. Here's how much you can do with it. Just a few examples. The first one, about resumes, CVs, right? I have a friend who's looking for a job. I got his resume so I could give my two cents about it, being a designer and whatnot. So he created it by using one of the most popular CV templates in Europe. Europass, that's its name. And honestly, it's horrible. I'm a business owner myself and I see this template all the time. Probably 9 out of 10 people use it. Now, the question is, do you think a better design CV would help him stand out? Of course, 100%. And that's why you need Photoshop. Now, if you're picky, you could say that Adobe InDesign is a better choice, but overall, developing your design eye in Photoshop is still essential. Next example, I had a business meeting just recently with some lovely people. These were CEOs from the tech industry, CTOs, CFOs, you name it. Now, do you know how we exchanged details? Like it was 1995, through business cards. Yeah, you heard that right. A high-quality business card makes all the difference. In this digital age, people love to feel something in their hand. Something that's beautifully made, beautifully designed and made with love. How do you do that? By picking a random template? Of course not. By using Photoshop. Photoshop is the answer. I run a company that sells cereal and other breakfast products and I often need design work done. Recently, I came up with some awesome granola recipes and obviously I needed some packaging that would help me stand out, that would help my cereal stand out against all the competitors on store shelves. Here's my packaging and by doing it myself, I saved at least $9,000. And here's how. First of all, I designed version after version after version until I was happy with it. Then I talked to the printing company and I had to do 3 rounds of changes to make the design fit the printing requirements. After that, I got the bags, I hired the photographer, but then I asked for the unedited versions of the photos and I adjusted them myself. I edited them myself. Now for the bag design, I asked around and I got quotes from $7,000 all the way to $1,200. And for the photos, one set of 10 pictures was about 100 bucks. I got 100 photos, unedited ones, for the same amount. Plus, I got them in 2 days rather than the standard 7 to 14 business days. Because I knew how to edit them, I got a fantastic deal. So that's how I saved thousands of dollars. But more than that, I created banners for my Facebook ads campaign, as well as some flyers for every store, some menus and whatnot. So all in all, easily $9,000 if not more. And I did this according to my own standards, ultra fast through Photoshop. And again, in the past I made banners, flyers, menus, roll-ups, whatever you can think of, I did it through Photoshop. I saved a lot of money and I was always happy with the end result. You need to know Photoshop. And this is what this course is gonna help you with. This is gonna be about web design and freelancing, but again overall this is a great starting point. What I'm gonna teach you is gonna put you at the front of the pack. Learning Photoshop won't make you magically earn 6 figures per year, but it's a great starting point. It's gonna open up a lot of doors, it's gonna improve your career, your personal life and your overall level of success. More than that, it's gonna help you learn other design programs much faster if you wanna do that. For me, it changed my life in an incredible way, but that's a separate story for another time. For now, I want you to make the decision to improve, to get better at it and not get intimidated by anything. Join our Facebook group, the Discord server, Practice and post your work, get feedback, get better and invest in your future. Photoshop is really gonna help you out, so please stick with me until the end. I'm gonna see you in the next lecture.